Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gay Life Abroad series. This episode's about gay life in Israel. So I lived in Tel Aviv, Israel for under a year when I worked there. And uh, basically this is my personal experience which is based upon my life and it's, uh, it may be representative of others, it may not, you have to experience your own um, experience in order to see how it is. So Israel, some people may have misconception thinking a Middle Eastern country is going to be homophobic. Actually Israel is very pro-LGBT. Even though you have got your Orthodox Jewish community there, most of it's quite secular and they're very very open-minded. When I moved there it was just a few days before the gay pride and it was fantastic, they had floats, it's going all around the country, around the city sorry and then they ended at the beach and had an amazing beach party and it was free and it was wonderful and I was amazed, it was amazing, absolutely amazing. Now with Israel it's very similar to I would say European and American sort of gay communities. There's a lot of LGBT centers, a lot of like places to go, there's a gay area, I don't think there's a gay area but there's gay clubs and bars everywhere. However, it seems to be very much like that sort of LGBT environment. It's very like toxic masculinity I would say which is rampant everywhere. It's about men having you know massive muscles and um, being very masculine and that's also because they are a fighting country, they all they all go to the army, they all work out, it's a hot country, they go to the beach, they have good bodies, you know there's nothing wrong with having a good physique, so there's that, however I don't know if they truly embrace femininity as much, especially in a men, um, it's more about being a masculine country. I remember I spoke to one gay guy and he was saying, you know, back in the day when it was war with the Arab nations, you know, gay men were having sex with women to increase the Jewish population. It was a very nationalistic, you know, sort of like thinking behind that. Um, other than that, they've got loads of gay clubs, bars, restaurants. I didn't actually go out that much when I lived there. There is a mix, obviously, you've got Arab, Christian, Muslim and you've got Jew. The Jews, you've got um, Ashkenazi and Mizrahi. So Ashkenazi are the European lighter skin and Mizrahi or Mizrahim are the Middle Eastern darker ones. I mean, for me, I thought there was a race element with the lighter skins being more preferred. But I've been told that's not the situation, that's not the case. They have a gay beach in, um, in Israel. To do with the, the lesbian aspect, um, there are obviously L uh, lesbians in Israel, in Tel Aviv, and they've got bars and places for them to go and community groups. I didn't interact much with them. The bi community, um, I didn't interact much with them either, if I'm honest, or not did people tell me. Transgender wise, I didn't see many transgender people. I saw some drag queens who were working there, but I didn't see many transgender people either. However, you know, Israel along with Brazil has always topped in the world for the most beautiful people so there were a lot of beautiful people there I would say. Um, people were actually quite warm when I lived there. I was really impressed actually if I'm honest with you because it is a war-torn country in the sense of war surrounding always looming around but their infrastructure is really good and people were even though you know obviously they speak uh, Hebrew they do speak English and people were inviting me everywhere and I felt very included and very open-minded and I really respected that. People invited me to their houses, to um, kibbutz and all these sort of other places. So it's fantastic in that sense. But I didn't really live much of a gay life in Israel. I found it difficult to get into a relationship actually. When I was there I was going through my own depression and loneliness issues. However, I did find that, you know, there were there was a thriving LGBT scene there, thr thriving and accepted, um, which was very nice to see. But obviously, because you have you know you got um, Palestine there, you've also got um, you know Jerusalem, you've got the Orthodox Jews, the Arabs, the Muslim Arabs, Christian Arabs. There is a lot of like um, shame as well and sinfulness thinking about LGBT people. So there is that mentality, and then obviously you know always on the brink of war and everyone going to the army because everyone 
goes to the army at a certain age and you know you see military everywhere so it's kind of a scary place in a sense but you do get uh, used to it um, cost of living is extortionate it's so much because food has to be shipped and there's all the tariffs so food is very expensive like a box of cereal is like six pounds in a supermarket so it's better to go to the normal street markets to get your food so um, living wise that was that I worked for the UN so I got paid a good salary not as much as I should have compared to how expensive it was if I'm honest but I know people were protesting about the price of cheese the price of this price it's very very ridiculously expensive um, and rent is too um, did what else so jobs wise yes okay so Israel being a you know nationalistic country a country based upon religion even though you've got obviously Christians and Jews uh, and uh, Muslims there they are concerned more about Jews basically and they only want you to be living there if you're a Jewish person or if you're born there so if you've got Jewish descendants and you're living abroad in America they come back and they live in Jerusalem in Israel and and uh, you know go to the army or learn or whatever they get they get paid money and stuff to come back um, to live there so if you're not Jewish it's gonna be hard to live there so unless you're Jewish it's hard to get a job there unless you're Jewish hard to live there unless you get a job there like working for international NGO or something like that and um, when you're dating um, people might be a bit like wary if you haven't got citizenship because they think you're gonna go so if you're not like permanent there's very difficult to get permanent so in summary if you are LGBT and you go to Israel it's a great location for going on holiday if you get a work visa fantastic if you're a Jew even better because you can um, obviously live there and stay there forever but if you're not a Jewish person it might be difficult for you to stay there long term and also difficult for you to date someone Yes, if you find a, if you get into a relationship with a Jewish person, you are able to apply for citizenship. I don't know how it works for it if you're Arab, if you find an Arab partner there. Um, I know it's very pro-Jewish, so in that sense, um, it's a great holiday destination, perhaps long term. If you're working there, people might not see you as, you know, dating material. They might see you as just uh, there for a while. But otherwise, it's very liberal, very open-minded. Of course, there is, it's, it's in a delicate situation with army and war and fighter jets flying over every day, you know, so, and every building has like a bunker and stuff. So in that sense, and it's quite expensive to live, but they have beautiful weather, beautiful beaches, beautiful people, uh, very warm, open-hearted people, um, and it's a nice, interesting place to be. Of course, there are areas such as in Palestine or um, you know certain cities where there is like suppression of Arab people and violence so that can be something of a of a yeah, touching point but otherwise I enjoyed my time in Israel I thought the food was great actually the food is fantastic hospitality the the um, taste of the fruit and vegetables beautiful um, and the lifestyle of like hanging out on the beach and being healthy and exercising wonderful amazing so please share this video with anyone who is thinking of going to Israel and uh, comment below if you agree or disagree which is fine like I said it's my own personal experience and like the video thank you very much